good morning guys good afternoon good evening depending on where you're watching this very video from in today's episode of what yahoo boys do to make money i'm going to be exposing what a 17 year old boy did all because he wanted to make few millions of naira now before i continue if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe turn on your notification bell icon do you know what it takes for a young boy that is 17 to go and meet a native doctor and tell the native doctor that he does not want to have a child that he doesn't want to be a father that the native doctor should collect everything that makes him reproductive as a man and give him money now the money that he's going to be given is a money that will just be enough to buy a lexus is250 and then some millions of naira to lavish on girls and then rent or probably lodge a hotel apartment for a couple of months that's just it and this boy is willing to sacrifice his male reproductive organ on the altars of money today's video is really an eye-opener today's video is a sad reality that boys can do anything now just to make money the clip was posted online by the native doctor himself according to the native doctor the young boy came to his shrine when he was not around and he asked whether the baba is going to come back anytime soon now some of the apprentices we did here contact the guy say baba is not going to come back anytime soon but you can leave a message for baba when he comes back we are going to relate it to him now the small boy narrated everything to the apprentice of the native doctor that he needs a situation where he can use his male reproductive organ to make money that he does not want to tamper with anybody's life and that he does not want to have any blood in his hands that he wants to use himself for the money making process now this boy was dismissed he went home and after a couple of hours in the evening he returned and the native doctor who has now been briefed on what the guy said when he came in the morning was shocked to see a boy of 17 years a boy of 17 years under the law this boy is not old enough to make such decisions for himself a boy of 17 years clamoring to let go of his generations yet unborn because he needs at least 20 million or 30 million naira. So the native doctor asked him a question yet again are you sure you want to use your male reproductive organ to make this money the boy said affirmative that he wants to use it the native doctor wanted to sway him from that very decision that he has made but the boy said no that he wants to use his male reproductive organ my brothers and sisters the native doctor was shocked now in a situation where a native doctor is shocked to this very level it shows you what we are actually experiencing as a nation as a community we are experiencing an era where boys of 15 16 we want to make money that they should probably through hard work and dedication start making in their early 20s their late 20s or their early 30s the world has changed though do you know that some guys instead of secreting sperm during an intercourse or intimate moment with a lady they excrete maggots now this is the burden that they need to bear all through their stay here on earth if they need that money to keep on coming i've heard of stories where a girl after having an intimate moment with a yahoo boy starts excreting maggots now not from the anus now from the female sex organ maggots will be gushing out these are some of the things that our ladies rope themselves into these are some of the things that our young boys rope themselves into who introduced this pressure to make money by all means as if that wasn't enough a couple of months ago i got a story about a young lady that did yahoo plus her own is that she's not going to be sleeping at night now what is the essence of money when you can't even have peace of mind you can't even sleep at night a night that was designed specifically by god for sleeping because you needed money by all means you now sleep in the day and you don't sleep at night. Who designed this kind of lifestyle for these people? This poverty, where would the poverty, poverty, where young girls get? Now, Yahoo boys, now AJ among the people, where remove this, some of these young girls from poverty. And those guys are not getting enough credit. And your statistic is wrong. You got it out of your box. This is not nice. It's like someone discrediting your work. You say that you know how many families their old boys come up from suffer. Do you know how many guests help their parents 
is true yao boy they sit at home some of them will tell you they are selling hair today is because of a yao man will give them money or yao boy or yao sir or yao whatever you want to call them some of them get kiosks and shop today is because of yao boy or yao man yao uncle why you sit down and just discredit this man that has elevated young guests out of poverty? You're wrong. You're wrong. Ah ah. You're my grace. Eh. Oh, you're going to leave me on Ah ah. Ah, super, super. God, why? For what you do, do I do? Ah. Yeah. Oh boy. Ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. 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 It is no secret that the Yahoo boys are people, the people moving the economy of Nigeria right now. Like what I said in the part one of this video, the hotel rooms are all booked full. And who are bo those booking them? The Yahoo boys. If you go to all the eateries, who are the boys sitting at the chest eating? They are the Yahoo boys. Then we come to a question. Will the government decide to curb Yahoo? Will the government be justified to say they will curb Yahoo? In my own opinion, the government is not justified to say they want to curb Yahoo because in the first instance, the government never provided anything for them. There's no provision for employment. In the past uh, couple of years, major, major big companies are closing up and the economic climate in Nigeria is not good. So I want to appeal to the government that these Yahoo boys should be left alone. Because if you decide to go after them, there will be, there will be greater criminals in the nation and there will be greater poverty. Already we see the poverty going up. And if you decide to do this further, the poverty will get greater. So I advise the government, if you say it is not good enough, attract industries, attract foreign direct investors to come to Nigeria to set up industries so that these boys can be employed. With this, you may be able to curb it. Then the educational system should be reformed also, so that it will be more labor, it will be more entrepreneur uh, oriented. So that who tell you say who tell you say I, I won't go ever. Eh? Now me tell you say I won't go ever. Now before, not be now. Now before I talk say I won't go ever. Now like this, I don't want to go ever. Yes, I won't go hell fire. I won't go hell fire because I have fire. Eh? Now for the rich, hell fire is for the rich. Why heaven is for the poor? Yes. How many people? How many people will get people will get money for this life? Many of them juju many of them are still where they won't go where they won't go now nah, hey. so where 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 hair fire is for the rich why heaven is for the poor that is why i won't go i won't go hair fire so if you won't go heaven eh leave the vanity leave the vanity of this earth for us let us enjoy ourselves leave the vanity may we enjoy ourselves for yeah you that want to go heaven leave the vanity of the world for us when you go heaven you go enjoy you won't go heaven you they find money you won't go heaven you won't make up when you go heaven you go make up for there leave the end for us me i don't want to go heaven again no i want to go to hell yes i won't go hell 